Like other governments in the Western world, New Zealand is going the extra mile to protect the planet without any consideration for humans who will, presumably, benefit from living on a well-protected planet. The island country plans to tax farmers for cow and sheep burps. Yes, you heard it correctly. If the legislation passes, New Zealand will become the first country to tax farmers every time their cows, goats, and sheep belch. According to radical environmentalists and wide-eyed climate watchers, the methane in cow and sheep burps is just too harmful to the environment. As a result, the New Zealand government is planning to tax farmers into submission. Under the proposed legislation, the government will begin taxing livestock farmers for their gas emissions starting in 2025. Already struggling farmers will pay taxes for every cow and sheep burp, while giant corporations get off without even a slap on the wrist. There will also be special incentives and lower tax rates for farmers who feed their livestock special anti-burp diets and plant more trees to offset these highly toxic emissions that will supposedly be end of us all. This is just one of the many ridiculous examples of the ongoing crackdown on farming activities, especially in the Western world. First was fertilizers. These innocent farmers must now regulate what their livestock eat to avoid paying taxes, but at what cost to farmers? And what cost to consumers who will feed on these newly packaged, anti-burp diet livestock? Welcome to Front Page News. In this video, we bring you more news on the ongoing global crackdown on farming activities, this time from New Zealand, one of the world's greenest countries with a 95.96 environmental health index. If such a green country is going the extra mile to put farmers out of business, presumably to save the environment, exactly how long do we have to wait before it catches on to the rest of the world? Please watch, like, and share this video. Drop your comments and observations in the comment section below and subscribe for more videos like this. Let's dive right in. The crackdown against farming activities continues and this time the New Zealand government is trying to stop cows from burping. The government has proposed other strategies including special diets and cow face masks designed to trap and turn methane into water and carbon dioxide, which is another greenhouse gas trapping heat from the sun. Scientists are also working on changing cow genetics to increase their digestive efficiency. Let's dial back and do a little bit of fact checking. New Zealand does have a large population of cattle and sheep and a full-grown cow produces around 220 pounds of methane gas per day. Though carbon dioxide emissions are more popular and last longer in the atmosphere, methane traps heat from the sun 20 times more efficiently. However, unlike carbon dioxide, which lasts for centuries, methane only lasts for a decade before it breaks down in the atmosphere. According to the United Nations Environmental Program, human-caused methane emissions could be reduced by as much as 4-5% to within a decade, this would avert nearly 0.3 degrees Celsius of global warming by 2045, helping to limit global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius and putting the planet on track to achieve the Paris Agreement targets. With the increased coalition between the United Nations and the World Economic Forum, exactly how much weight do these words hold every time these people talk about climate change and global warming, they go after the hard-working middle class and leave out the impact of their own giant corporations, private jets, and oil rigs. Agriculture is a major industry in New Zealand, contributing billions of New Zealand dollars to the country's gross domestic product on a yearly basis. Yet, the country seems to be doing everything to frustrate the efforts of its hard-working farmers. Last year, there were widespread protests against government policies forcing farmers to abandon their trusted petrol and diesel-powered utility vehicles in exchange for electric vehicles. And now, New Zealand farmers have to contend with what is easily the largest regulatory disruption to their activities in decades. Hopefully, the government will find a better way of dealing with the situation without damaging the country's agricultural industry or frustrating more farmers into early retirement. A final decision on the proposed legislation will be announced in December. On a different yet very similar note is this hilarious and disturbing headline from CNN. The headline reads, Drink up. Cockroach milk is the protein drink you didn't know you've been missing. It is from a July 27 article promoting all the health benefits of cockroach milk. According to the World Health Organization, cockroaches have been known to play a role as carriers of intestinal diseases, such as dysentery, diarrhea, cholera, and typhoid fever. Yet these same people will have us feeding on a gross liquid that cockroaches feed their young ones. Plus, the timing of these bug and insect promotional articles is quite convenient. As soon as governments started issuing these ridiculous regulations, these giant corporations suddenly started shilling their stupid alternative meal plans. From fake meat and dairy made from fungus to various insect-based meals and now cockroach milk. According to the CNN article, cockroach milk from the Pacific beetle cockroach is chock full of protein, fat, and sugar, and may some may be transformed into a food supplement worthy of human consumption. 
The article also states that this supposedly highly nutritious liquid harvested from the insides of the cockroach is not actually milk, just a liquid that cockroaches feed their babies to help them grow. Now, I don't know about you, but I would not be going anywhere near any food that contains cockroach milk. If this mystery liquid is so good for cockroach babies, leave them to it. There is absolutely no need to have us join the throng of cockroaches who need this liquid. We are our own healthy food sources, and we are quite contented with them. What do you think about New Zealand's livestock burk taxes, and how soon do you think it catches on with Canada's very woke and all for saving the environment government? Please drop your comments and observations in the comment section below. Also, ensure you hit the like button and subscribe. Everything helps with the YouTube algorithm so we can bring this video and the message it contains to more people. Thanks for watching.